Yo, what's happening, in YouTube? It's your boy Frank Needy. Checking in with another video. Just got this day out. Uh, just got this day out of the way, and I got to live in the morning. Uh, Monday, I didn't have much going on. I didn't pick up a load Monday. It wasn't a whole lot, you know, that was coming out of the area, or that was coming out of like the Georgia area. So I just waited out the Tuesday. I still was able to get two loads off, and then today is Wednesday, so, no, what's today? Yeah, today Wednesday, so I was able to get two loads off. Tomorrow morning, I deliver, and then after I got those two loads, I deliver this one. Tomorrow, I go back up to Lima. I got something going back down to Jacksonville, Florida, on my head down there, and deliver that. That load actually paid pretty good. It was like 4500 something like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick that up. I had already, you know, uh, sent the message across, and they say that it can uh, go in for like it's a drop and hook, so I could deliver it as early as possible. So be down in Jacksonville come Friday. Come and just ride it straight through tomorrow. After I thought deliver this. Go we'll pick that up. Make it down to around Tennessee. Slide that straight through. Take that on down to um. Take that on down to Jacksonville. And possibly find something coming back up out of there so I can add something else on the um pay period for for Saturday. And you know what I'm saying? Try to pretty much clear it all off. Um I think right now I'm at like my month. It's been a month since I've been there. And to be honest, so far it's not even bad. It's I think like the perks is I'm able to find loads when I need to get them. I'm not really getting stuck in no type of areas that I am running, and I'm running the northeast and the southeast as well as the midwest. And it's really, you know, it's a lot of it's a lot of free opportunities as far, you know, so far with JB Hunt. Cause I know I got that question a lot, like, is there a lot of free? They do have a good amount of free. They actually that's actually paying something where you can net a thousand dollars, you know coming from the crib or why well, know i live it i can net a thousand dollars just coming out of the house or you know or even more you know what i'm saying like i've done already and i know before it was kind of like iffy which i really you know understand why some companies not able to get free out of the atlanta area but now it seems like it's a it's a lot better you know as far as you know getting loads so far is no complaints you know as far as let's just see the cons so far, I would say it's probably the trailers. And the only reason I feel like we have a trailer issue is because it's a lot of damn drivers that's here. They do a lot of trailer pool. So if you take a load in, some place don't allow you to take the loads back out. If you get an empty, you can't take uh, get an empty out. So it's kind of like if you drop a load, you kind of, you know, possibly have some book to where you can pick up at the same place. But it's never too... I have I haven't really had one of them times where it's too hard to find an empty. You know, so it's always they got this thing on the app where they can tell they can show you the certain yards in the area that you in with the address and what trailers they got there and which ones you can request or whatever like that. Um They ask a lot of times, like if I drop a load and I need an empty, they'll say how long will it take for them to, you know, give you an empty. A lot of times they don't even have an ETA on when they can give you an empty. I went to a place in North Carolina called Mondelez, I believe. And I told the dude, you know, I wasn't dropping that trailer. Like, y'all gonna have to unload me because it was no empties in the Charlotte area. So the dude was basically like, all right, well, give us, you know, 30 minutes. We're gonna unload one trailer, finish unload one trailer, then we'll let you take that one, and then you can do your thing. So I felt that was better. You know what I'm saying? To go ahead and give me an empty. I was almost out of time anyway. I didn't want to drive around four or five hours, you know, just to wait on no trailer. So I did that. I slid over to, you know, uh, they got a lot of decent loads coming out like Virginia area. So I went to the good year in Danville to bring it up here to Ohio. And that's how I ended up seeing that Lima, Ohio. That's why I went on here and got this load that was bringing me up. So I should be grossing, uh, I should gross, right now I'm probably around 6,600 for the week. 
and then after I deliver the load down to Jacksonville, Florida, I could possibly get something coming back up, paying 1100 something, something just like, you know, to put on for the fuel and to keep it moving. But so far, you know, it's, it's pretty decent. They treat you pretty good. I came over, I sent messages, they replied back instantly. Um, it's like you got 24 seven help. If a load do cancel, it's plenty of loads in the area that you can possibly pick up that is in the area, you know, um, it, it's not it's not like a lot of room for it's really not like a lot of room for uh, how can I put it it's like you don't miss a beat you know what I'm saying like if you have a council then you can go find something that's gonna pay the same or better you know it's it, I like the way that they have their system going to what you got constant free the fuel discounts is great. The fuel surcharge is great. Some people say it's stupid to be, you know, leasing an own out truck on with a company. But my thing, as far as my experience, I do what's best for me. It might not work for other people. Other people have their own reasons. You know what I'm saying? If you feel the need to go and get your own authority, I don't like it. If you want to get your own insurance, I don't like it. It's some people, what I've heard he say, she say, that's make like the, the ones that's doing the power only not making as much as the IC side. And my thing is, them not my words. I heard that from somebody else because I'm not on the power only side. So I can't speak a fact on that. But other than that, I don't see, I don't see, you know, no, no flaws really just yet, you know, when it come down to it. Uh, I know somebody asked why I didn't choose, well, we, we spoke on it, you know, but I keep getting that question, why I didn't choose Landstar? It was just like, if stuff really got that bad, I've been approved on that side, so if it, if it got that bad over here, I just move. But right now, I'm pretty stable. Only thing I'm trying to do right now is pay my truck off and make a little bit of profit in the midst of doing it. I think after I pay the truck off, I'm probably just out of the game, like, you know, completely. You know, just pay, uh, uh, pay the truck off go home and chill like you know they, they, that's my main thing and the only reason like i stayed into a lease you know is because so many people get into a lease purchase pro program and they go through these lease for a year two years and then they don't complete it because of something that company's doing or they can't upkeep it or they say it's impossible so they never had a mindset to actually you know complete the lease some companies do make it impossible like the one i just came from i know a lot of dudes turn trucks in i don't know 100 percent how it's gonna go over here but like i say if it do go bad then i know i have opportunities elsewhere so if people are looking to lease their trucks on with jb hunt i don't see it being a bad thing even with some of the drivers i come across that live in atlanta that's pulling in a motor they say that they make it pretty decent they got sfi trucks they truck payments are a lot higher than mine, you know. I think SFI truck payments are double what mine is. And that's why their truck payments are, I mean, that's why their lease terms are so, are so short because they have a two year lease and they paying maybe 11, you know, uh, 12, between 11 and 14 I've heard that they paying for their truck. Me, on the other hand, I'm only paying $600 a week for a truck. And mine is a three year lease. So I'm pretty, you know, comfortable and I can make the income. I can make, you know, the revenue as far as, you know, my business and paying myself out every week and doing what I need to do. You know what I'm saying? Just to keep, just to keep afloat. So, so far, so good. You know, I just want to tap in and give y'all that little bit of um, insight on it. And I saw in my last video that I had asked if y'all wanted me to do a load board uh video but i guess like another driver which i heard you know that watched the video and the dude said he only he did a low video because of i recommended it but i guess it is what it is on this side you know what i'm saying uh but i appreciate y'all for watching you know what i'm saying if you ain't already subscribed yet please like share subscribe you know what i'm saying we almost to the 2500 mark you know what i'm saying so this YouTube definitely took a, I didn't know it was going to do the, the, the views and all of that, but 
I do appreciate y'all for watching me and checking me out. You know what I'm saying? I'll catch up with you on the next one.